I'm doing a kind of inspired look um, of Rihanna in the fly video with Rihanna and Nicki Minaj. Um, this isn't identical to her look. I wanted to use kind of cheaper products on the eyes. So I used this palette here which is by Wet n Wild and this is called the Petal Pusher um, palette. So I use the colours here. I just dinged that. Also, let's remember that I'm not as hot as Rihanna and I don't have the lovely skin colour that she has so it's not going to look identical but this is kind of like my take on her look. Um, I found a photo which I was mostly inspired by that her and Nicki Minaj took while they were filming the like music video so I'll put a link down below to that photo. Um, the actual video clip was quite hard to kind of see what her makeup looked like because it was very dark but she looks absolutely hot in that video like seriously it makes me want to dye my head bright my head, dye my hair bright red but I'm not going to do that because that would root my hair. Um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know if you like it and I'll talk to you soon. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is take NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Purple Velvet and it's just a dark purple colour. I'm just going to put this in kind of like a general shape. What I'm going to do is clean up the edges very like at the very end which is what I've already done on the side. So it doesn't matter if you kind of get stuff all the way down here we'll just completely wipe that off later. Just put that all over the lid and then just take a bit on your finger to make it easier to blend. Sorry about my nail polish by the way I had no time at all to repaint them for this so I'm sorry about that. Now I'm taking this colour here by Wet n Wild and this is called Brulee or Creme Brulee and it's just a highlight colour and I'm taking a little angled brush. You can use any highlight colour that you prefer. Just put that up on the top of the brow bone. Then I'm taking this flat Sigma brush, it's just a shader brush and the Wet n Wild Petal Pusher palette um, and I'm taking this colour just here. We're just going to pat this all over. Then I'm going to take these two bottom colours just here. This one here kind of looks like Beauty Mark by MAC and this one's just a sparkly black colour. I'm just going to mix them on a e.l.f. flat shader brush and then I'm just going to kind of pull it inwards from the edge just to make that super super black and dark purple. Just taking a blending brush by e.l.f. and I'm just going to blend out these edges a little bit. It's not going to be the exact same as her look because it's so hard to tell what the hell it looks like like in the video. Um, this is just what I've kind of gotten out of it. Um, so hopefully it's good enough for you guys. <laughs> it's a pretty look anyway. And then I'm going to mix these two colours here just on the edge of that first brush we used for the purple. And I'm just going to put that underneath the lash line. Not too much because there's really not that much under her eye. Just like clean up everything a bit more. I'm going back in with Brulee, um, the highlight colour, and I'm just going to kind of tone the very tops of the purple and black down, which is what I did on the other side to kind of like um, blend it out a little bit, just make it a bit softer. Alright, so that's the eyeshadow done, it looks quite harsh, but now we're going to line our eyes with a liquid eyeliner, just a really thin line with a flick at the end, and then just black eyeliner in the waterline and that's all she has on the bottom. I'm also going to apply some false eyelashes. You can use like any ones you like really. I'm going to use two pairs. I'm going to use the dramatic elf ones and then these kind of um, flicky little separated long ones. So I'm going to do all this and I'll be right back so we can do the face. Okay so that's the eyes finished. Um, now we're going to do the face and the face is quite simple. She has a really small amount of contouring going on like just a really nice um, light kind of effect, not like hard out chiseling or anything like that. I'm using Bourjois, like the chocolate bronzer, just with this Sigma small contour brush. And I'm just going to do a very light kind of coverage with this, just to give a small, small, small amount of colour. And she has a very, very pale pink blush on. 
I'm going to use Innocence, which is one of the $1 e.l.f. blushes, and it just looks like that. It's so pretty. It's one of my favorite blushes that I just broke. Okay, it didn't break. It just came out of the package. Okay, so just going to apply this on the apples. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of Pink Swoon by MAC. And I'm just going to put this kind of just above where we contoured. Now the lips are super simple. Nude, like a really light, light nude with a little bit of pink. I'm going to take this MAC lipstick called Flesh Pot. That's what it looks like there. Just kind of a pinkyish, nudish colour. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of a gloss over top because she's definitely wearing gloss. This one here is called Flora Abundance by MAC. And I just kind of aim that in the centre rather than all over the lip. So this is the completed look. I don't think it looks quite as good on me as it does on her because she's got like the most gorgeous colour skin and everything. Um, but I hope this helped. I hope you guys like it. Um, even if it's not identical to hers, which it's not. Um, I hope you found this useful and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.